Hello and welcome back to Hollow's Minecraft How To. If you're a Nancy girl, you may struggle to fight the monsters you found in Minecraft. But fret not, Nancy girl, I have just the thing for you. Enchanting is a simple system. You kill things, you mine things, you do general stuff, and you get sweet, sweet XP. Using the XP you have gained, you can convert that into an enchantment on your weapon or armor, or both, even your tools if you're an idiot. The first thing you want to do is get some XP. The fastest way to, is to kill mobs rather than mining, and uh, you know this could be both neutral mobs such as cows or pigs or obviously sheep like I'm killing. As you can see I got some XP there, isn't that wonderful? I heard a sheepy bastard hiding behind a tree. That was well, well, well hidden, Evans. Oh, sorry, Evans. <laughs> um, but you know, I prefer to kill more mobs at once. You know, killing neutral ones, they come in packs, but there's not enough of them. Now, in the darkness, mobs can spawn evil mobs, and they give XP when you kill them. Apparently, the darkness went there, and uh, they come out at night. To these, so I like to kill those. So let's go kill those. These are the mobs that I'm talking about. <laughs> oh god. Well, that's a lot of XP. I best go claim it. Okay, now you have your XP, you're gonna need an enchanting table. If you're a Cheetah McGee, you would just spawn one in, uh, you know, via creative game power. However, if you know Cheetah McGee, you white knight you, you can build one just like this. If you're gonna actually enchant something, you must do it in the right place. One ugly as hell building, that is for sure. But it's got a H on it, so I kind of like it. So, uh, yeah, got your space in here and your studying area and a nice centerpiece for the enchanting table. Unfortunately, I appear to have forgotten that I require a crafting table. I'll be right back. Okay, now we've got ourselves a crafting table and I'm still in game mode 1. That would mean that I can place more of than just one. And it needs to be symmetrical, so they're going there, okay? Yeah. Yeah, like that, I'll get them up the wall, because I really like crafting, I really, just really enjoy it. There you go, nice H. Okay, so what you need is some diamonds, an obsidian or few blocks, and a book. And you just make this, basically. Oh, I've got another one there, apparently. So, oh, well, that's, well, doing good. Let's see if we can't do it this time. Okay, you just need your obsidian. Make a nice little triangle pyramid there, get some diamonds on the side of it, wang a book on top, there's your enchanting table. That's a lot of shit on the ground there, let's just pick that up. Okay, so, right is the centerpiece, there you go, that's how you make one. Isn't this just the perfect conditions to enchant the shit out of your diamond sword? Okay, from here it's going to get really complex, okay? really complex so I'll try and go slow for you so basically you right click the table and you get this and it's, it's pretty self-explanatory but if you're an idiot which I mean if you're learning anything from these how to's you must be so um, you just grab a, a weapon or item you wish to enchant obviously it's gonna be your sword doy and uh, you enchant your XP that I've got here into power. Now obviously 154, what does that mean, all this writing? Well there's no way to actually tell what it means because I can't understand any of this shit so obviously there's no way to tell. But I do know that 5 means 5 levels so see how I've got 35 down there? I spend 5 of those 35 to enchant it and let's see what we get. We get knockback one, so now it does uh, a knockback on it, slap something away. Also, it glows like beautiful and stuff, and isn't that pretty? Let's um, let's do a bit of enchanting and uh, demonstrate the various powers. Okay, so we've got uh, four diamond swords that we're going to use here. Got some bonus ones, but you got the knockback, you got the sharpness, you got the bane of atropods apparently, and one that has actually enchanted it twice to give knockback and sharpness which is really cool it's sort of a chancy thing so we need to find some evil mobs evil mob oh there's one uh, we'll kill this evil mob first so demonstrating the power of knockback it knocks it further than it usually would so um here's a zombie 
we're gonna we're gonna give him a bit of bane of Atropos, as you can see, sets him on fire. Not the daylight. I set him on fire. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Um, and sharpness basically is just a diamond sword that does more damage than a normal diamond sword. So three hits there. And you can enchant the shit out of them and use all your XP and stuff to get lots. And if you're lucky, you get knockback and sharpness. You get double, double the enchants on one. You can get up to four enchants on one thing, which is quite powerful. See how I knocked him away and also did ridiculous damage? Isn't that wonderful? With this overpowered, godsent weapon, you can claim the lands as your own. Aimlessly swinging at anything that comes near you, carving a bloodstained path in what a somewhat horrific game. What you really, th when you really think about it, I mean, look at me. I just killed an innocent chicken back there to eat its flesh, so that I may survive long enough, only to face an onslaught of enemies from fleshless monsters to brain dead eaters to giant spiders and this fucking green bastard who says nothing and makes no sound until you hear a hiss and boom, girl, you dead. Speaking of these horrific monsters that I'm talking about, you're gonna need some uh, armor there if you're a Nancy girl. So um, let's get ourselves some armor and show the powers of enchanting armor. Okay, now that we've got some more XP and some armor, I'll show you just how good it is. So you got your diamond helmet. I'll give it a six. Fire protection. Okay, so if I was fighting a blaze, I take minor less damage. Okay, with the legs, we'll put an eight on that. More fire protection, not very useful against normal mobs. For pro okay, so a, a skeleton shoots at me, I take less, you know, arrow damage from the the bow, and more fire protection. Really, you can get shafted, as you can see here, and um, you know, fire protection is great and all. How effective is it going to be, really? I mean, let's just let's just specifically find out how effective it is going to be. And it's probably not gonna be that much, is it? Oh, I'm I'm still in still in game mode uh, one there. Okay, I take it back. This is very effective. Normally, I'd be dead by now, but with the ridiculous fire protection I have, I'm not. Isn't that good? Okay, I'm I, I'm gonna die here. Just cut that out. Okay, so I've enchanted myself with a bit of different armor, and I've got mostly protection and for what the, whatever the fuck Aqua Affinity is. And I'm gonna go face some mobs and see how effective this enchanted armor is. Uh, so yeah, it's it's pretty effective, pretty effective, as effective as it is. I mean, it's not perfect, is it? It's not perfect. Nothing really kills something as nice as your sword, or tricking them into lava, really. I mean, look at these morons. Look at them. They're just jumping in, pushing each other about. Enchanting is good and everything, but I don't think I need it. I'm more of a man, you see. And if you're a Nancy girl, I don't, you know, I don't blame you for wanting that. I'm just going to stick to my normal sword. Fuck diamonds. Fuck your crafting table and your obsidian and all that garbage and malarkey. Anyway, Nancy girl. You should be all set now to face the horrors of Minecraft in terms of enchanting, anyway. Enjoy cowering behind your overpowered armor and weapons, Nancy girl. However, I prefer to get personal. By the way, if you liked my Minecraft skin, the new one here, the winner of the competition was Shad Round, or was it Shad Noun? It's on screen, and I want to thank you for making the skin, man. It's fucking awesome. You got some talent there with the, the Minecraft skin creation.